Hey guys, so let's talk about um, first semester math. So for the most part, you probably will be enrolled in a dosage calculations course. Um, and for my school, they use this book, just some stickies, Dimensional Analysis for Meds. Um, so that's what it looks like. And for everyone who is either accepted into nursing school or waiting to start, um, take a look at some of your basic math um, skills and problems. Um, that will just help. Again, uh, for the most part, anyone who really teaches first semester math for nursing, they usually tend to use um, good teachers. Again, I can't talk about that, you know, for everyone, but um, at least teachers who have a really good way of um, describing things and making you kind of get it from the beginning. So then um, after you're introduced to it, it is your responsibility to go ahead and practice, practice, practice. Um, so I'll kind of just go through the, um, the chapters and I'll read out the topics. Um, and... For example, chapters one, two, and three um, is like a refresher math. Um, and this is the part where I'm saying go ahead and just um, start doing this on your own. So relative value, um, working addition problems, subtraction of decimals, um, let's see, uh, multiplication and division of decimals, um, and then solving common fraction equations. And let's see. I mean, you, and hopefully this will. So there you go. I um, choose the greatest value in each set, and they're literally decimal problems. You have three options: which one's greater, um, which one's less. Um, let's see. Again, these are the same type of problems: um, adding decimals, subtracting decimals, multi multiplying decimals. Um, yep, so, a lot, so this is your refresher, you should be able to do this for the most part, you, um, you did this for your nursing entrance exam, and then, like here, reducing the fractions, um, eliminating the decimal points from common fractions, um, let's see. Finding um, common denominators, uh, reduction of numbers ending in uh, zero, um, rounding in answers to the nearest tenth, hundredth, again multiplying decimals, solving common fraction equations, and so one of the problem sections is solve equations, express answers to the nearest tenth and hundredths. And then you may be able to use a calculator, and that's what it kind of looks like. I don't know if that's legible, but that's that. Mm, let's see. Initial reduction of fractions. And then the good thing is that, like, for at least for this textbook, it gives you kind of an end of chapter quiz. So you can kind of see how you're doing. So then it goes into introduction to drug measures. Um, and that's kind of where you start getting more into meds and calculating for meds. Um, so then make sure to review your basic units of metric um, system, um, length, volume, weight, meter, liter, gram. Um, Identify the metric measures with their appropriate category weight, length, or volume. Like milligram is for weight. Um, let's see. Abbreviations. So if they put, um, um, they ask you how do you write a microgram, um, you would put MCG. So then it goes down for liter, kilogram, milliliter, centimeter, etc. So look at how I study. So I'm telling you guys. So this post-it, like I'll go through problems. I'll work them out on these. Um, and I'll just stick them on the pages. Um, converting um, metric measures like 7 milligrams to how many micrograms? And that's 7,000 micrograms. Um, so you want to review this 
conversions. Um, let's see. Yep. Again, what's 3,500 milliliters? It's 3.5 liters. So there's questions like that. So um, let's see. Again, there's a bunch of other converting. Um, so the next is unit percentage, um, milli equivalent ratio, household and apothecary measures, measures. So a household measure ounce, the abbreviation for that is OZ. And then, um, the metric equivalent for that is 30 milliliters. So then you have all of those and you do it from ounce, tablespoon, teaspoon, dram, drop. Um, then you start doing, and this is kind of like where it really gets fun, where you start reading, um, medication labels and syringe calibrations. So they talk about all the different types of like um, tablets and capsules, um, stored. And then um, here is an example of something that they would ask you to look at. And then they have all these questions. So that's literally a label for a medication. Um, questions that will come um, up is what is the generic name for it? What's the trade name for it? What is the dosage strength? What company manufactured the drug? How many tablets are in the container? Um, if five milligrams is ordered, how many tablets will you give? And that's the calculation that you start working on. If the bottle um, says there are 10 tablets, each tablet is 10 milligrams, then if the order is asking for five milligrams and you would say you would give half of a tablet. Hopefully that made sense. So that's literally um, the questions that they pull out of you reading a uh, medication label. And then um, again here is the same question is for lisinopril. Um, if 10 milligrams is ordered, how many tablets? And the label itself just says five um, milligrams. So if they're asking for 10 milligrams, that means you have to give them two. Um, so that's that. So you have a bunch of those, and sometimes it's tricky. Sometimes you have to do those um, unit conversions. Um, and that's why I say go ahead and just start practicing all of that. Um, let's see. Then you start looking at kind of like syringes like that. And some of the questions is like, okay, well you have to give um, two milliliters of it. And then you kind of shade that part. Again, reading more labels. And then they'll have all these questions for you, kind of like what I read to you earlier. Um, then it goes into safe medication administration, and for the most part, you'll start learning this um, also in your like fundamentals. Um, excuse me, and yeah, yeah, fundamentals. I'm um, talking about common medication errors, um, errors in abbreviation and drug names, um, errors in writing metric dosages, um, action steps when errors occur. That's funny, I just realized I say eras a little different. So, yeah. Anyways, um, hyperdermic syringe measurements. These are kind of the questions that I was telling you about. You have those examples. And then you'll just write in how much you see that's in the syringe. And then everything has like an answer key for the most part. So you'll be able to um, compare your answers. Let's see. Um, and like, for example, like this is a label for gentamicin. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Um, and it comes with, uh, fully 40 milligrams per milliliter. Um, uh, and the question would be if 80 milligrams were ordered, how many milliliters would this be? So we already know that 40, 40, I can't say 40, 40 milligrams per milliliters. Um, that's what every milliliter has 40 milligrams. And if the doctor's telling me to give 80, so how many would that be? That would be two milliliters, yes, um, that we would need to give. Um, hopefully this is making sense. I don't know how else to go through the first semester math, unless it's me actually like using my, like a whiteboard. 
I don't really know. Um, so that's that. Okay. So anyways, there are some medications that you have to reconstitute. So you have to look at the label, find out how much of the liquid that you have to add um, to make the solution that you need. Um, measuring insulin dosages. And then again, they kind of, they were presented with like the medication label and then it just asks you the dosage strength of the insulin, um, the generic name for it, etc. Let's see, and then um, you have the dimensional analysis units conversion. Uh-oh, that's hard. Um, so it kind of looks like, I don't know how else to show you guys. Dimensional analysis. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, let me just show you. You can look it up, I guess, Google it. Dimensional analysis. Um, so, for example, okay, um, you start with one tablet over um, 0.5 milligrams times the doses that you want. So you have one tablet over what's available. So in this case, it's one over 0.5 milligrams times. Um, what you need. So I need 1.25 milligrams. So once you do all that, again, 1 over 0.5 milligrams times 1.25 milligrams, um, you'll be able to do the math, dimensional analysis, um, and then you'll come out with um, having two and a half tablets that are needed. Um, hopefully you can pause and read this section right here to follow what I just said. And um, up here is kind of the instructions for it. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, just go ahead and Google dimensional analysis for medications um, and you'll see that. Um, let's see. And like the questions would be like the drug label reads 800 micrograms in 1.5 milliliters. The IM order is for 0.6 milligrams and then that's when you would do your um, dimensional analysis and find out how many um, milliliters you would need to get to administer and again your teacher there will be plenty of quizzes um, lecture um, to be able to teach you how to do all this there's a bunch of questions in your your textbook there's a bunch of questions online um, so you shouldn't have a problem figuring it out I mean, if you do, go ahead and talk to your teacher or your peers. Sometimes it's um, easier when peers explain things. Um, let's see, dosage calculation from body weight and body surface area. So there are some um, cal um, equations that you use to calculate that. Um, da -da -da -da. Adult and pediatric dosages uh, based on body surface area. Again, there's an equation for that. So we, you would just need to find the equation and plug it in um, with the individual's uh, weight. And we're almost at the end. Um, now we're getting into um, IV therapy. And then, so, let me see. So it kind of teaches you, this book is kind of good because it teaches you beyond the math. Um, so I just started talking about, you know, sections and the parts of the IV, um, the machine, etc. Um, you can start, the next chapter is IV flow rate calculation. Um, calculating drops per minute, flow rates from milliliters per hour ordered. Um, yep. And this is... So you can go ahead and even Google that too, um, calculating drops per minute or flow rate. Um, questions could be, calculate the drops per minute rate to infuse 2,500 milliliters in 24 hours using a 15 drops per minute infusion set. So, yep. Calculate drops per minute rates for a micro drip. Let's see. So there's just a bunch of questions, yeah. Um, calculating IV infusion and completion times. So question could read, 
Read, calculate the infusion time for an IV of 500 milliliters to infuse at 50 milliliters per hour. So then you would just find um, how many hours it will take to do that. Um, another question, an IV started at 0400 um, is to complete in 2 hours and 30 minutes. Calculate the completion time. So go ahead and brush up on your military time because um, questions will come with that. And you'll have to know how to do that. Okay, next is um, IV medication and titration calculations. And that's, and then heparin infusion calculations. So that's pretty much in pediatric intravenous medications. Um, those last few chapters I don't think we did. Um, we'll probably get to that a little later. But there you have it. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what you're up against. So go ahead and start just brushing up on your basic conversion, um, your, um, your fractions, decimals, multiplying, subtracting, um, and then you can start looking at just some of the practice problems online. Just look for um, IV drip rate problems um, or medication administration uh, problems and just start working on that and just trying just to see uh, the big picture of it. Again, your teacher will probably have a good way of explaining how to do each of these um, for you and then the, she'll probably or he'll probably have um, a lot of practice questions for you to do. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you're up against for dosage. Um, the hardest part is knowing that you have to, I think, get either 90% or 100 um, on the final. Um, and again, um, understand that you can harm someone if you don't know how to use, how to do your um, medication. Um, calculations correctly. So practice, practice, practice. Um, so hopefully that helped. I don't know if that helped really me just reading it to you, but at least you know what to look for if you're gonna, you know, get started or start Googling, right? I don't know. Okay, well, if anything, if you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share the videos. All right, bye.